Hi, I'm Josh Campo, the Teen Services Librarian here at the Pontiac Public Library. I'm back for day nine of National Poetry Month, and today I wanted to focus on Emily Dickinson. She is an important American poet from the 1800s, who was one of the first um, female poets that we have recorded and given recognition to. And she actually wasn't recognized during her time. She became famous after her death when many of her poems were published posthumously. But she is famous nonetheless and has several poems that are well known today. I'm gonna to start with one of her lesser known ones. Hope is the thing with feathers. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. And then this one is perhaps her most well-known poem because I could not stop for death. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure to for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain, we passed the setting sun, or rather, he passed us. The dews drew, quivering and chill, for only gossamer my gown, my tippet only tilly. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, tis centuries and yet feel shorter than the day. I first surmised the horse's head were towards eternity.